All right, let's go. Let's go. I never told you what I spent. I spent six thousand dollars. What? Six thousand ninety-eight dollars. Cause look at this right here. Look at all of this. All of that is models all the way to the back. This is got, gonna be very, very exciting. Yo, Uncle Mike, what do you think of this? I think it's outstanding. We have just Star Wars right here, guys. Boom, just Star Wars. Here we have models, 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 models. It's crazy, all models. And right here we have models, 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 models. This is the greatest unit ever. 30, 40 autographs, video games, actual money. I got two words for you. Storage, auction, pirate. Woo! Ahoy, mateys! It is I, your captain speaking. Let's go find some treasure. Yo Sail the seven storage seas, most men would never try it. You know it's best if you never mess with storage. Subscribe. Pirates of all ages, we are here on the Bay Bridge. Look at this. Golden Gate. Golden, Golden Gate way out there. Uh, Alcatraz. Alcatraz. You ever been there, Uncle Michael? No. You didn't serve no time there? No. All right. Before my time. <laughs> I never went and toured it. You never went and toured it? Oh my goodness. I've been to Angel Island. There's all the commodities and cargo ships and there was a high patrol driving by right there. How you doing, sir? And we are heading out to pick up a storage unit. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the price. We'll tell you in just a minute when we open the door. It's a surprise to Uncle Michael. I need his reaction when he wonders why I spent what I did. And we'll be there in just a moment. I dumb. All right, let's go. Open it up, Uncle Mike. I wonder how much it was, Uncle Michael. B number one thirty-one. I know B thirty-one. Let's go. I never told you what I spent. You want to guess what I spent? You're gonna think I'm nuts. I look at Sony went through it. Where? No, it's the it fell over. Can you guess what I spent? Just look over here, because this is what costs the money. You're not going to believe it. <laughs> you said over a thousand. I spent six thousand dollars. What? Six thousand ninety-eight dollars. It's all models. All of this is over fifty boxes of models. That's what everybody was bidding on. See, this an earthquake happened. Well, I, I'm just presuming it's all models. But see what I'm saying? There's like anywhere from twenty to like eighty to hundred dollars a piece, maybe. I don't know. I gambled hard, but I wanted this unit. All right, we got his reaction, guys. We spent $6,098. Why? Because look at this right here. Look at all of this. All of that is models all the way to the back. There is other stuff here. The photos were horrible. Chances are they might have actually collected some military. Basically, I saw this as an eBay gold mine. I'm going to be doing a lot of eBaying. There was a little bit of stuff here. Look at that. What do you think that's worth? Woohoo! Maybe 50 bucks? It's brand new. I don't know. I, at the top of my head, I don't know, but look. Benji and I were talking we decided there he told me he thinks there was two grand in these first four totes I don't know it's a crazy gamble but we're eBayers now we bought an eBayers dream Ooh, photo albums and I'm thinking maybe more military stuff right because he lived uh, he collected military let's get to it oh what is that sports cards <laughs> Guys, this is nuts. We are inside of this storage unit. I'll get a little more amped up here. Six thousand ninety-eight dollars. A very specific reason why I gambled hard. Is that a comic? Possibly. That'd be crazy. I counted forty boxes. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four. There's maybe seventy boxes. It's looking like of models. That's better because we went deep on this. I'll show you a few things and then we'll get on and we'll take this back to the warehouse. We didn't buy it for that. That's one of the touring things, but I do like that there's more boxes over here. I'll show you a couple things as we load it, but our goal, we're in San Francisco. That's about an hour away or so. So we want to get back on the other side of the bridge before the traffic starts. 
All right, guys, we're just like kind of stacking it up, getting ready to load in. A lot of stuff was falling in the back here. Uncle Mike was trying his best to not make a mess, but it looks like it's just stuff, right? Boxes of toys. Yeah. Boxes of models and toys, a little bit of furniture. I'm getting this loaded in here. Guys, we got some cool stuff. That's for sure. I'm juiced. Look at that. Uh -huh. Guys, I'm trying to, I'm just a little, I'm the little juice. Look at all this. There's so much fun to go through here. So much fun. It's like my Star Wars, Star Wars. Wow. I'm getting here to the church mouse at a church. No, that's not it. I'm getting a schoolgirl. No, I don't freaking know. I'm just giddy, guys. Let's like just come in. But look at this. Oh my gosh. Totes full of sports cards. This one as well. The potential is actually here. This is going to be very, very exciting. Dude, Uncle Mike, what do you think of this? I think it's outstanding. Now we just got to get it posted up. <laughs> Everything looks great. You're going to be spending some time at the warehouse. You better get Clint over there to hire. For hire. All right, pirates, we're done taking this back. Full trailer. Get a video on this. We got off the bike on the job. You see the trailer empty, you see the trailer full. Oh, yeah, there it is. Well, I'm a little less nervous now. I'm definitely less nervous. I can definitely see money to be made. How much profit lies inside of this storage unit, only time will tell. But it's time to get back to the warehouse and um, take a peek. Ooh, there it is there. South San Francisco, guys. Let's see. Let's oh, go. The industrial city. Ah. Uh -huh juiced i just wanted to give a little tribute to this bridge i always like this thing just the architecture this thing has always intrigued me i feel like one day we should just walk out here because we've never done that before you can literally walk out here i'd probably be a little nervous but i'd give it a try <laughs> so happy and so grateful and excited wow all i gotta say is behind me behind me is some of the best stuff i've found in a very long time it's been a, it's been a little bit of a minute before i've had a good unit but i've also been reserved because the business is out of control but let's do a quick walk through here i've kind of categorized we have just star wars right here guys boom just star wars here we have models 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 it's crazy all models and right here we have models, 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 models. Wow. We have sports cards, Legos. I'm thinking jewelry. I've seen that you can tell that there's some type of jewelry or somewhere to go. There's a clear, to you can clearly see the jewelry. Mm. I think we'll get right to that. What do you guys think? Would we just go right to that one? Let's just do that one box for now. And then we'll carry on with some others because I, I just got to see and something oh my god okay guys let's see what we have in here what do you guys think do you think this is intriguing i think it's intriguing why do i think it's intriguing you can see there's something in here you can see there's stuff there's like jewelry boxes and so forth so i definitely think there's something to be seen here to the naked eye at the top looks like vintage clothes which is actually really really hot right now too believe it or not this is a say lou loungewear beautiful piece right here very vintage very very was that 70s ish is that 60s 70s sundress you were sunflower believe it or not vintage Ooh, imagine joseph magnum liquid magma vintage nightgowns are actually very good money too i've sold a lot of them in a couple units i've gotten this set made in usa petite bucks right there believe it or not don't gawk at that oh it's looking like a fire little lot of vintage clothes organically grown smaller stuff too acrylic wash dry this is a phenomenal stuff here as far as vintage clothes goes kim fashion that's not that special okay sweater let's speed it up a little bit if we see something Extraordinary, we'll throw it out there. That's all right. Some sweaters. Home field advantage is you. That is fire right there, guys. Okay, there's a cute little scarf. And another one. Another one. 
Lawns of Salzburg. Very cool. So yes, there is something down here. Let's just cut to that. What is this? Oh yes. San Francisco 49ers. Look at that. Handkerchiefs. Those are cool. That's, I mean, it's like even the little trinket things are kind of tight. Now, look guys. Ooh, come on baby, please. Please, please. Please be something in here that's just beautiful. Pearls. Pearls are hot right now. Come on. What have we got in here? Monet. 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 Oh, okay. Is that a fetish necklace? Fetish? No? What do you guys think? Here we have a seal. That's kind of cute. Bobbleheads can sometimes be valuable, but I don't really usually list them when they're like out of the box like that. It's just not something I spend too much time doing. And what do we got here? Some costume. Cross pen. Really good eBay item, believe it or not. I never underestimate these on eBay. I can't shake it because it's not opening or it's not shaking. But, guys, what are they? Cute little watches. A Hellbros. An Accutron. A 49er. A Victron. A Hellbros again. Hellbros. Hellbro. I was hoping that was going to be Rolex, but hey. Next best thing is the Hellbros, right? What do you guys think? Lot, auction lot or eBay lot? We got my rosary. That is nice. 24 karat gold plated rosary. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh, that is kind of tight. That is kind of tight. Uh, let's come back to this in a second. There's definitely gold in there, guys. There's definitely gold. I love gold. Let's get to the uh, other boxes here real quick. Ooh. Stainless steel. Stainless steel and a beautiful dragonfly. That is kind of tight right there. What should I do with that? Let's continue on. We got an American Drew. I don't know what that is. Ooh. Galloway Gold, handmade in Ireland. So those are kind of tight. Two little gold charms. Let's see what else we got. Ooh. A heart. Oh, Mickey. Hey, wow. Holy crap. Gold opals. Whoo. That is fire. Oh, jumping. Frickin' Jehoshaphats. Yes! Ooh, that is sweet. Oh my gosh, that is gold. Another one of these. Oh, nice. Kiwanis. It looks like some gold pieces here. Yes, it is. Wow. Guys, this is just like the, the box of jewelry. I just wanted to go through this just because I figured it'd be a fun change or a fun, interesting little, quick little come up here. There's so much in this unit that it's overwhelming. Like I can't even think about the 100 totes that are right over there. It's just like, I wanted to see what was in here and just relax. Cause um, I, I got a friend coming over to check this out with me. Just take a quick once over. Ooh. That's crazy. So we got a little bit of a costume. We got a little bit of gold. And I'm gonna guess maybe somebody was uh, into Asian antiques as well. We'll see. That is maybe for the Boy Scouts. I noticed there's some Boy Scout stuff. Speaking of which, 
there's one of those and I, I don't know if I should set a lot of this stuff aside I actually just start making a, a collection of Boy Scout stuff to let go through the system that is nice a cloisonne and there's a cool little clock right here. Well, I'll start making some lots of all the smalls because I know everybody likes the smalls and we'll be setting a lot of that aside. All right, so I told, I said we're gonna come back and go through this one in a second, in which we are. I could tell there was obviously something gold in there, but we want to get through the rest of the box. But boom, shock a lock guys, let's see. So right off the bat, we have something in here that is gold. Oh my, oh my, we have a little gold seashell that is kind of tight for a for a little necklace that is pretty tight um, oh another wedding ring I seem to have a lot of wedding rings 14 carat this is a Seiko with a stainless band that's pretty tight this is a fake gold necklace right here this is a real gold necklace right here. That's pretty tight. I like gold. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people are like, you just want to find gold. That's like the easiest way to get your money back out these. So I always like to find something to get you something back. It makes it kind of easier. But a unit like this where it's just all, there's so much great stuff that I can't even fathom that we don't really need to worry about gold. I just love it. What do you guys do? You guys, when you guys buy storages or hunt gold, do you save it or do you scrap it and get your money and move on? Comment below. I like to hear the answer. That that is the Elgin. Almost looks like a gold band, but it's not. Let's try that baby on though. I wouldn't mind finding a real man's one like this. Is just solid gold. That'd be so freaking nice. This has got a diamond in it. And it's an Elgin, probably battery operated. I'll put all these watches and stuff aside, and we will see those in the auction for sure. This thing is, holy crap, Avalon. It looks like it's gold plated or, or gold filled. Matter of fact, it says right there, that is neat, guys. That thing is what, what would you say, 100 years old on that watch right there? Over 100 years old. Ooh, look at that. An Irish piece here, and we got this gold green jade style piece right here very old let's look at the filigree work right there and that is probably similar of age and then we have a pearl jess is gonna dibs that i bet you money she wanted a pearl yesterday it might fit her finger wow all right that's better than um better than i expected because this unit really i honestly i'm, I'm, I'm just blown away I don't know what I expected. This unit was, was I bid $5,550 plus 10% for a reason. I think a lot of it was because I saw this stuff, but I didn't really think this type of stuff was there. This is like a bonus, bonus, bonus. And I think there's gonna be more. I just I have a feeling because you can see through some of the totes. I'm so freaking excited. I got a friend coming right now. He's gonna give me a little once over with this stuff here as well. And I think he might make a video. Now, let me turn my light on over here. All right, how's it going? It's going freaking phenomenal. I'm excited. So I already, this is just my, this is the non-toys over here. Okay. Well, this is actually sports cards and Legos in here and then just personal stuff. But this is all the toys. This is my Star Wars and then I got models. This is that one you showed me? This is the one I spent 6,000 bucks on. Wow. I didn't think there was to be this much stuff. I didn't even expect Star Wars. I just expect them all. Wait till you see down here as you continue down the line. And you thought it was all models. I, yeah. There definitely is a lot of models. Look. Yeah, but there's other cool stuff too. Oh yeah. Wow. When it goes back here. Yeah, oh yeah. It's not even. There's over a hundred totes of them. Look. What? You, he already needs a new warehouse, guys. Why do you need a new warehouse? <laughs> Tell. Is that freaking nuts or what? Wow. I think he did great. My goodness. And then, then there's just the the personal stuff, and there's. I can't really tell because I didn't look in it, but you can. I just went and found a bunch of gold just now in the same unit this, like this is all sports cards these are sports cards there was uh yeah it's freaking nuts oh, this is the gold i just found see a gold coin gold ring gold ring gold ring gold ring gold necklace wow under some vintage clothes and sports stuff oh nice this is the first box i've gone through this is the greatest unit ever it's freaking nuts huh <laughs> 
I think there is an NES somewhere in here, believe it or not. I mean, this has got video game people vibes. Vin Baker. I don't like the way that one's messed up, but. No, but the rest look okay. Sorry, I had to. Open oh, no, go ahead. I, I, want, I wanted to get you, I almost wanted to get your reaction on camera because this is like. This is the type of stuff we dream of finding. This is such a Picker's Warehouse unit. Oh, yeah. Even the, even the bad box looked interesting. I mean, you were saying this was personal. I saw toys. Oh, no, there's still toys. Like, th there was boxes that were on the ground. See, like, the, we had a pit. That has some vintage shirts and stuff, but some of the, yeah. a couple of totes fell over. Okay. Like, something that had, like, 1,000 little miniature pieces. Is this from the unit? That's from the previous unit. Well. Wow. Why, you need those? Dibs. No, I don't even know what it is. You guys heard it here first. He said this is the best unit ever. I'm just kidding. I think this is like the funnest unit ever, and we haven't even opened the box. Hopefully, yeah. we'll open the box. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I did open one box. We can open another box up for sure. Yeah. I got one box I know he'll enjoy. It's gonna be fun to go with him. It's quite obvious, and sometimes you can just see it through the side of the box that there's something fun, right? Yeah. It's quite obvious. This is either highly collectible things or little league outfits. Oh. You want me to open this one? Uh, you want to help me? Go ahead. I mean, whatever you want to do. This right here is cool. Well, uh, wait, stop. This is magic, and I don't think you have magic powers. This is a freaking wand. This is I am very, Gandalf the Grey. I'm very Harry Potterish. No, I'm just kidding. I think, guys, this is the sun's box. I don't know. I have a feeling because I'm seeing... Look at this! Look at this! What is it? Oh, my gosh. Oh my, you lucky fudge muffin. It's a ninja star right here. Bro, I'm pulling this out. First of all, this game right here. Okay, that's Wii. I thought it was a... Uh, but bro, it's, still I thought a good it was game. sealed. Still a good game. You have... Oh my gosh, I gotta film this too. I'll film it after. I gotta film this too. Look at this. You guys know what's in here? Oh, how fun. GameCube. GameCube. Oh, yes. That's a good thing. This is, you got the signs are here. More GameCube. The signs are here. There's All a, signs point to yes. Come on, baby. Well, there's another sign here that's really going to get you excited. Nintendo 64. Oh, my gosh. So. That's a $30 controller on eBay, believe it or not. Yeah, certain colors, too, can go Tanner flea before. market. That's for the GameCube? Yep, GameCube. More GameCube. Raven. Mike's gonna find games. <laughs> I hope so. No, you're gonna find games. This is the this is the kids' collection of. Oh my god! And of course, what we are seeing below this is the NES Classic. You think there's a bonus game? Let's find out. Ooh. No bonus game, but that doesn't mean there's not a bunch of games in this storage unit. Look at this Boy Scout stuff. Yeah. It's a shot glass or a water thing in. Thing of Majiga. That's amazing. Look at all these balls. We've got official sharpening stone. That's a cool piece. Yeah, this is the Suns. I dare to say the Suns boxes are gonna bring you some crazy money. If you find the rest of this video game collection, oh my god, I'm gonna be watching this um, series on your channel. Oh, he watches my videos. I do. I thumbs up before I even watch it, so. That's a good friend right there. In the instance that I don't like the video, it's too late, I already thumbs up it. Do you have a coin? Do I have a coin? Yeah. Ironic see. that we need to open it with a coin. This is like a sick joke, huh? <laughs> it's a, let's just see if there's, ooh, not the worst thing. Not the worst piece of change you can find. Not These the best all, and not the worst. No, but they're all little half dollars. Wow. Very, very cool. That is a coffee in the morning. I'm, I'm buying my coffee tomorrow. This is all Giants, dude. Okay, Giants. We're going Giants. Ooh, look at that. All different eras, too. <laughs> Signed. Everything is autographed on this page. That is what's up. Look at that. That's why you got to go through every single... Oh, more. That's a Matt Williams live signature, dude. Man. You know who wants that? Who? Matt Williams, Matt Romero? Yeah. Does he? Yeah, I gave him a Matt Williams uh, jersey and he was so stoked. I didn't know that. Matt, if you're watching. Shout out to Matt Romero. That's a good card, y'all. That's a nice clean card, too. Roger Craig. Oh my god, they're all signed. He had season tickets. Okay, so he was he was getting in there. Die hard. Dude, this is a full 
All signatures. Wow. Yeah, More that. autos, guys. Oh my god. All three of those are autographed. This is the kid stuff? That's my guess anyway, that this is the kid stuff. Robbie Thompson. Just gonna go through quickly to try to find more uh, signatures. Mike, I think you hit the jackpot. You hit, you definitely hit the funnest unit I've seen in ages. Let's see. So what, three out of these five things were full of autographs? Very, very cool. Let's keep going. We do have, <laughs> come on. This is a vintage Niners ball. But who signed it? RC Alley. Do you see anything that stands out? What's that name right there? Ray Ferreira? These are these are players. Maybe it's old ones? Yeah. I mean this oh. ball looks 70s. This this could be a whole Oh, oh my god, dude. Wow. There's another one there signed too. That's Look at that piece. That's crazy. What a fun piece. I don't know if that's, I don't think that one's live, but there's other signatures on it. That's crazy. You're gonna have to, ooh! Jerry freaking <laughs> Rice. The shit, can we, maybe? I, yeah, yeah, we gotta go over turn here. Turn this way. Cause this could be a, there could be a Montana in there, y'all. That's kind of hard to read. It is hard to read. We gotta blow it up. Is that, is that, the, is that the move? Yeah, you're gonna have to do something cause you got Jerry Rice. Oh. Wow, guys, this you, is getting nuts. And look, might, we're we're not even halfway through this box. No, no, no. I'm a, I'm a little bit slow, y'all. But this he's is he's a little bit slow, guys. Don't give don't get on his case. But look at that kid's collection already, dude. You got an old man. Dusty Baker, '93. There you go, boom. So we just dated the era of this, right? And you got some. Uh, there's Steve Young oh. and Rice. Best wide receiver and best quarterback I ever played a game right there. Those are tight, dude. Barry freaking Vaughn's. Wow. We got a little... Ooh. Uh, ooh. ooh this might be a little out. mother load right here. Yeah, we got to pull this out. Not the, the kids' uniform, but these uh, cow, these Cub Scouts. I think they're camp shirts. Oh, my God. Band camp? Camp. Yeah, these are all camp shirts. 2002. Okay, not too old, but... A cusp of vintage. 2004. 2003. We need to keep going that way. Oh, I like the eagle. 2001? Oh, vintage. 1924? Are you freaking kidding me? That's still kind of tight, though. Look at the graphics and the colors. Uh, yeah, that is actually... Uh, there's some neat in everything. Even the worst boxes are still neat, right? I mean, this box had... I mean, let's talk about the footballs. We had, what, 30, 40 autographs? Video games? Actual money? Money. Uh, this box was incredible. Yeah, nice. look at this. You can do each one of these is a whole is a whole situation. There's potential all across. Like this is going to the flea market. The cards go to an auction. Cub Scout stuff. Yeah, dude, best unit I've seen in a long time. I'm speechless. Hey, Tom, what's up? Are you speechless? I'm very speechless. Very speechless. Huh? Very. Speechless. Check out who's Tom Cruise. I'll even try to put his link here in the bottom. He makes videos. He's got my neighbor right here at the store. Uh, He's been here looking at the unit. Speechless, speechless, speechless. I gotta go home, my, my mind is drained. I can't even work right now. Um, <laughs> wait, stay tuned for more.